Hey guys, welcome to CS50 Lab 1, Populations Walkthrough Tutorial and Solutions. So today we're going to talk about the uh, population group, the pseudocodes, and there are some steps here, and the solutions. Please pause the video before we reach to the solution sections. So this is the program that we're going to write about. So the program we're gonna prop the user for the start size. The user is gonna key in this value, end size, key in a value. Then the program will calculate 10 years. So it's about finding how many years to go from x value to the y value of lamas. This is a pseudocode given by the CS50. We have to include these two library. So there's actually four steps. So the start size, the end size, the calculation parts, and the print part. The start size must ensure the user input at least nine. And the end size must ensure that the user is key in at least the start size. So there's the relations here. So once we have these two values, we're going to plug into these equations here and some loop to generate the number of years. So the start size and the end size. So dot slash populations, prop the user for the start size. We key in, for example, 1002. The end size, we key in 1003. So we generate a year one. It means that to have the start size to the end size, we need one year to achieve it. So we can see this condition is working is working fine. As long as the E end size is larger than the start size, it's okay. So what if we have conditions like the start size is less than 9? So as we mentioned just now, if less than 9, we're going to reprop the user again. We prop again. So if the user key in less than 9 again, we prop in again. So once is equal to 9 or more, so we accept the value. Again, we go through the end size. Key in 5, we prop the user again. So once the the end size is actually uh, equal or more than 9, so we accept the value. So since 9 and 9, the year is 0, it makes sense. So let us put into a flow chart. So when the program starts, user key in the start value here. The, I mean, the user will input the value for the start size. So we check a conditions. Is the start size less than 9? For example, negative 5. So it means true. So we reprop again a loop here. So if the user key in 9, so we break through, break out from this, this loop. So the we will store the value, the start value. Next step, we go through the end size. The user key in the end size. We check a condition. Is the end size less than the start, start size? So for example, 5 and 9 is less. So we create a loop here. So for example, if 9, so we break through the loop. So the program will store the value of the end size to go through to the next steps. So the program here is how can we type this into our program? This is one of the examples from the CS50, the source code. We will focus on this part here to get the positive integer from the user. So we want to focus to get positive integer instead of negative or other value. We can use a type on loop called do what loop. So first we have to decline an integer and the do loop, the, the program is going to prop the user this. 
the user gonna key in some value here. So we check the value here. Some conditions. If the condition, for example, the user key in negative one. So and negative one is less than one. It's true. So we will go again. If the user key in zero, which is zero is less than one, is true. So we go a loop again. This is the similar case as what we are having here. For example, the user key in five negative five. Negative five is less than nine, so it's true. So we go through the loop here. Same as the end size five. So for example, the value here is nine. The start size is nine. The user key in 5. 5 is the end size 5. 9. So it's true. 5 is less than 9. So we will continue a loop here. Until the user key in some value larger than 9. So we go or 9, right? So we can use the similar concept here to type into our program. So calculate the number of years. So what is the calculation here that we need to do? For example, the start side is 9 and the end side is 12. So as following to this formula, there are n divided by 3 are born. So n divide by 4, pass away. This is like a positive and this is like a negative. So the, the 9 here, eh, sorry. So the 9 here, so we plug into the formula here. 9 divided by 3 is equals to 3. So lose is 9 divided by 4. There's some decibel, we just take away the decibel. Assume it's 2, so it's 2. So basically, 3 minus 2 is 1. So it's 10. Same goes to the year 2. So another year is 10. So the gain is 3, lose is 2. So plus 1. So it's 11. So the 11 is still not 12. So we haven't reached to the point of 12 lamas. So the year 3, we have 11, we have gained 2, lost 2, plus 1, something, something. So you can see it's around, maybe we plus, we got 12 point plus plus or 13 plus plus. So we can see we are actually reaching this 12. So we can assume it's 3. So overall, we can see the, we, the key 9, end side is 12. So the calculations, after calculation, we know the calculation is 3. So this is the overview. So starting with 9. So after one year, we have 10. After the, another year, we have 11. After another year, it's 12. So how can we make all this into our program? There must be some checking, you know, because this we have to some, somehow check between the start and the end. So that means we need to have some kind of condition checking here, something like this. So I make it more better in express in the programming. So y0, y plus plus, y plus plus, y plus plus. So for example here, we decline y equal to 0. The start size is 9. So as one year goes by, we plus 1. So is e more than 9? The end size is more than 9. It's true, so we keep going. So 10, e is more than 10 yes we keep going 
plus 1 so this is 1 this is 2 so is e more than 11 yes you go through again is e more than 12 plus plus or 13 plus plus no so we will stop here so we conclude that is three years so how can we compact it into a code so we can we can refer back to the source code is a title integer overflow so we make it into a full chart here so basically this uh, what the integer overflow did is we decline i equal to 1 a while loop a while loop if it's true forever so it will go through a loop forever like that continuous continuous always continuous so what the code does here is we have to print the value of one here so we slip one means we we wait for one second and i times equals two so i times two is always times two times two times two and so on forever so is it somehow is quite similar as these conditions here and we just adjust some conditions here to make it something like keep going keep going keep going so i make a full chart here first we're gonna uh, decline any teacher y equals zero something like this every loop we were plus one so we put a condition here like e more than nine Use the end size to check with the current start size. So, so you can see the start size according to this formula, the bond the, and the loss. So the start will always keep increasing until one, one kind of the moment that the start size is more than the end size. Then we will break out from this loop. Another one we have to add this y plus plus this one into here so basically we have two functions here I mean two two things that going in here after these conditions so we will add the start into this formula and the y plus plus so for example the start side is 9 and the end side is 12 now I think we just put 12 here and 9 so the start side is 9 hey, the end side is 12 the start side is 9 so it's true so we will always go through these conditions as the start will keep increasing until one moment that the start is more than the end size will break through here so we go through the next step which is print the number of years so to print the number of years we can use the same example here to print the i value what we need to do is to change here to the year so we can print the number of years here so our program end here so that's it now pause the video and try solving the problem before continue to the solution sections okay welcome back so here we, here comes the solution explanation sections so this is the solutions here so first of all we're going to include these two library here so the first sections we're going to prop for a stop size but with the minimum of 9 so we have to decline integer starts so we have to do our loop here so we're gonna the program gonna prop the user for the start size so once the user key in a value here for example let's try the program here so once the program key in a value for example 8 wait that can be 
bit smaller. So for example, key in it here. So it is smaller than nine. So this condition is true. So we will keep going this around. Again, we six. Six is less than nine. So we keep going again. For example, negative hundred. Again. So negative hundred is less than nine. It's true. So we will keep going this loop again until, for example, put in nine. Nine is not less than nine. Nine is actually equal to nine. So we will get out from this loop. Same goes to the end. So for example, our start side is nine. We decline an integer n, go into the do while loop, prop the user for the n size. Once the user key in an n size value, for example, I put it. So it is the value. It is less than nine. It is less than nine. So we're gonna it's true. So we're gonna prop again. We put negative hundred. So negative hundred is, is still less than nine. Negative hundred less than nine is true. So we're gonna go through this loop again until we put, for example, nine. Nine is not less than nine. Nine is equals to nine. So we're gonna break up from this loop. So what happens here is we're gonna uh, decline integer years. Zero. So this is the while loop that just now what we do is a, a forever loop continue as long as this is true. So while the end is larger than the start. So for example, this is 9, this is 9. So here is 0. If we have a condition with the year is larger than the start. We'll keep going here. For example, let's do 12, 15, 3 years. So we can see the first condition here is already satisfied this. The end is already larger than the start. So we will do some calculation here. So it's like uh, 12. 12 divided by 3, negative, minus 12 divided by 4. So this value we, we slide, will keep growing larger until it will no longer satisfy these conditions. It will break out from here. So every loop here, the year is going to plus 1, as similar to what we explained in the, in the presentations. Every loop, it will keep track of the loop, the number of loop. So this number of years will increase. Once we calculate until the start size is more than the end size, we will break up from here. Go to the last steps, which is print the number of years. What we do, we just put the, the, the variable here, then the i. So we will print the value 3 here. Yep, I think that's it, is the program solutions here. Right, so thanks for watching and see you next time.